morning. I know it's been a very long time uh, and I've finally gotten back into my home and this is my Levia deck profile. Uh, we've been testing her since the very release of her. So we'll just start off with the equipment. As everyone, as, 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 as I've been telling everyone, Claws is the way to go. You have to play Claws with this hero, especially in Blitz. So you've got two pairs of Claws. We've got our, our blocking equipment, your carrion husk. This is so fucking strong. Like, you're a 26 health hero, and then you've got your Arknight skull cap just to round that off. Um, it's been a while since I've been here. We've got our, our arm equipment. I always go to this, Braces of Belief. It shows you the top card that you have of your deck. So you always want to know. Um, and it's a plus two usually most of the time, but you can also guarantee you have it with the talismanic lens. Um, can't be a brute deck without scab skin leathers. Scab skin leathers. Uh, blocks two, blocks one. You want to roll a lot with this hero, but at the same time you don't need to. Like you just, just do shit and you win. Um, and to round a few things off, you got your Hooves of the Shadow Beast, only against Wizard. You only want to use this against Wizard because it's the free always being able to get in the game the go again. And uh, Skullhorn, Wizard. Against Wizard. Uh, uh, where the fuck did I put the other one? Oh yeah. And a few things to round it off. Null Rune Arms against Wizard. Whenever you're versing Wizard, this is your, your lineup. And then Barkbone Strapping. This comes in clutch a lot with this deck because you're getting the free extra resource that you need for all your extra things. That's our equipment. Let's start get going onto the deck. Come along. <sighs> Finished up with the loo. So at the deck. Of course, every single deck you run has to have two sigils. It's the staple for every single hero. So you run two sigils. And because we like to play things on the, you know, the naughty side, two reckless swings. This comes off a lot in your deck, like when your your opponent's down to one or two health. Like they just don't see it coming, especially when you're playing Levia. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I sleep by the way. These are the main go-to cards in this deck, and this is the reason why it functions. To Mark of the Beast, discard it off, Blood Rush Bellows, do anything with it. This card literally runs the entire deck. Two Beast Within, this card is insane. Like, discarding off Blood Rush Bellows, it's already strong enough in Rhino, but when you pair it up with a hero who's able to swing as hard as possible, this thing just literally makes games so easy. And then the four Dread Screamer. Like, blue, I don't like the yellow ones, but the red ones are fucking amazing. Um, uh, now just with the shit cards, I'll come around here. Two blue. Two blue, two blue, you've got your Hungerings, and then you've got your Endless Ball. Um, most of the time, you are blocking, defending, or pitching with these, um, but you know, you've got so many blues in this deck that you can just run most of your deck by swinging with all these other attacks and all that. And the best, absolute best card of the deck, better than Blood Rush, better than Shadow Puppetry, better than everything else, Gravel and Growl. This card says one, swing six, swing seven. Blood Rush Bellows, swing nine, swing eight. Uh, Art of War, 
swing nine, swing eight. I mean, it's swing seven, swing eight at six. I can't get over how strong this card is. To start off with, we weren't running it, but we finally realized that, wow, this card is absolutely insane. Yeah, and that's, that's mainly most of the deck. All right, let's get going to my bedroom. Well, the second bedroom, of course I'm bougie as fuck. So, this is the last, basically the last bit of our deck profile. Um, you know, it's not a big house, but it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. And I managed to do pretty good for myself these days. And I very much prefer playing Brute other than any fucking hero. As if a Brute wouldn't play anything else. So, last cards, uh, two, two cards left, but Unworldly Velo. Um, this card can save you or it can just kill your opponent. Costs one and you get the free banish and, you know, well not free banish, yeah. Um, Shadow Puppetry, this card is so insane. Give any attack go again and then just swing with weapons. Art of War, um, banish card, go again. Usually you want the go again, but you can get the cheeky one over the top sometimes when you need it, especially against like a hero where you just want to like, like when they want down to one health and you can just put it over the top. <sighs> Never using it to block. Two Blood Rush Bellows, runs the deck. Doesn't matter where it is, you play aggressively, you swing as hard, literally you're the hardest hitting hero in the game. Like Ira is the hardest hitting hero, but this hero, every attack just swings like crazy. And this is the card that just basically cements the deck. And the last great card, there's two cards left, but the last great card of the deck, Lady Barthamot. This card makes everything possible in this deck. One, it's amazing early game because you can put it down. Late game, you can reveal it, you got dominate. And two, at the end of it, I'll show you next. And finish off the deck, of course. We do it in the best place in the house, the bathroom. <coughs> Soul Harvest. You're never really using it, but it is a six attack. But the games where you need to block really hard, this card just becomes insane. Like against Guardian, you can just kill them. Especially if you have your Lady Bathmot in the field. Like swing 15 or swing 12, dominate. Absolutely insane. And to round off the deck, Doomsday. Your deck plays this probably, what, maybe every second game you play. Because what you do is you do Lady Bath Mod effect. Trigger it twice. You can even do it in the same turn sometimes. And just search this out, play it instantly, and then you can swing with it. It's absolutely insane. Like, probably one of the best specializations we've ever seen on a hero. Give yourself basically six health or something that they have to deal with. And then it also survive, is a survivability because you can just keep swinging six, banish a card from your hand with bends from it, and then that's it. Like, you, you, you've got a win condition. Like, you, this deck has so many win conditions, so much damage. The only thing it lacks is if you have to take damage or if someone sets up for you to take damage, you just have to go down low. That's it. But other than that, I think I need to take my bath. All right. See you later.